What's up, y'all? Welcome to day 423. Make a song bringer today. I'm working on super bombs. These are going to be something that you can get. And uh, they blow up everything on the whole screen. It's just like an instant wipe. But they're rare. You only get a few of them. And uh, they're also used to get Vel out of her cryo sleep. So, that's what I'm working on. <clears throat> so, I've got these... Um, the item codes already hooked up into constants. Now I'm just going back and creating them. What's up, T? Did you still have the window open? So I need an item super bomb and all the constants to go with that. Or I mean, data bomb one. We'll just keep the bomb one for a second. Okay, bombs per container. Oh, we need super bombs per container. Okay, one more constant to recompile here. Thought I had that done before the stream because my compiler is so much faster without without running um, the whole streaming software. Okay, so super bombs per container. We need that. I'm gonna have like three, maybe two even. And you only can find three total containers, and they're all extremely rare. Super bombs for container. Yeah, we'll keep it at three for now. Super comb? <laughs> Let's call that super bomb. Super bomb, super bomb, super bombs for container. This is equipable, craftable? It's not craftable. Let's not try and get, not try and confuse people. They're sitting there at the crafting item combining. Stockable doesn't count, right? How much do they cost if you're gonna buy one? You're working on screenshots and videos? Alpha version 1.0, nice man. Right on, so you fixed that bug and you got your screenshots and videos done and now you're doing advertising stuff. Yeah, good for you. All right, so if there was a place where you could buy super bombs, it would cost 30 to refill them. And still you have a week left. Congratulations. Things are going to plan. So we got the super bomb hooked up. Now we need the super bomb containers. Video. Ah, video is your next thing, huh? So if you were to buy a super bomb container, these are hella expensive, like at least 200. All right, let me double check what I've changed so far just to see, let me go to the Constants first. All right, so we've added the super bomb constant or the item super bomb container one two and three And super bombs for container and then we've got super bomb container one two three one two three one two three Super bomb Equipable, stockable, doesn't count. All right, good. We're all set up for that. Now, I'm not sure exactly how you get you even get these items. So I'm just going to give the player one. Super bomb. Say we have three of them. And we have super bomb container. We just have the first one.
Okay. So this is going to be the super bomb. And this is going to be the super bomb container. I don't need poison armor. This is something that hasn't been finished yet. Just poison armor. All right, let's give it some text. Let's call them energy bombs. The other ones are matter bombs. These will be energy bombs. And that reminds me we need to go to the filter item. Constants. And if this is a super, oh, we need the super bomb container check. Okay, lots of things to recompile for. Is super bomb container. Oh, damn it, one more. Number of bomb containers, we need world number of super bomb containers. No super. Do I have a list of YouTubers I contacted for my Kickstarter? No, I didn't actually contact anybody before I did my Kickstarter. But there is a, um, still, people contacted me. I didn't actually contact anyone. People actually mostly just got in touch with me. Um, but uh, there is a list. Um, there's like a big, huge list of, of YouTubers and the genres. There it is. There you go. Oh, damn it. Hmm. Yeah, this is apparently a giant. I've looked at this list. I haven't really, like, done anything with it. But it's a giant list of all these game gaming YouTubers, and the genres that they do. So, like, you can look up the people that are, you know, in your genre, and then contact those dudes, dudettes. Super bomb container, dumb super bomb containers. Okay, item, super bomb container. It's less than or equal to max. Flood, what's up? How's it going, man? I just saw your emails. Thanks, man. All right, so now we got a function we can just see. We can see if it's a super bomb container. Now we need to hook it up to this filter so we can reuse the text if we have multiple bomb containers. Super. What's up, R3D? What's up? Welcome. 
Oh yeah, it's late. Right on. Cool, man. Thanks for saying hi. How how long do you have uh, left on your vacation? Okay, we got Cadim Super Bomb Container. We're getting there. Almost got this all hooked up. All these little data items and little functions for so we can have Super Bomb containers and Super Bomb. Um, this we need energy bomb, super bomb is the energy bomb, Evergy. Oh, you're not on vacation anymore. Oh man. Well, dang. Thanks for playing the game and thanks for sending your feedback. I appreciate that. Oh, sweet. Thanks for sending the crash report. Cool. I'll check that out. I have a feeling I think I know where that, where, how to deal with that one. I think I know what it is. But that one with the freaking, the damage to everything, that one's crazy. I actually have an idea how that could happen, though, is maybe your, maybe one of your weapons, like your top hat or, or the, um, or the sword or something like that got some kind of really wide damage. And so instead of it having a very small like collision detection area, it had this giant collision detection area. I don't know how that would have happened, but that might have been what happened. So thanks for those reports. I appreciate it. What's up, Kavarni? Welcome, welcome. All right, so we got the super bomb. It explodes dealing damage to all matter. within the entire area. Oh, it happens without you triggering the weapon? Yeah, there is, um, so you have, a, um, you have a collision detection area for your sword that never goes away. It all, but it does, um, it does move itself out of the way, so when you swing your sword, it does this little temporary box. Um, and that, I'm thinking that temporary box, it's not temporary, sorry, it's, a, it's actually a permanent box, but it just moves itself out of the way, off the screen and stuff, and disables itself. So I'm thinking maybe it, it might have like stayed not disabled or something. <clears throat> I don't know. Okay, let's see if that uh, that's all working. We have multiple super bomb containers. Energy bomb. Okay, now I need to start drawing some graphics for it. Sweet, now if we have multiple of those. We have like all the super bomb containers. Okay, yeah, it's not it's not piling them together yet. So that is in interfaces. Bomb container. We need to pile together the super bomb containers into one. All right, thanks, Vlad. Cheers, man. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for playing the game. Super bomb container one. Num super bomb containers. All right, I'm gonna get my graphics tablet hooked up. We're about to draw something here. Okay, 
doesn't show the quantity though. Why is that? Oh, it's get displayable quantity. That one, if it is a bomb container or a super bomb container. What's up, Martius? Dub killer? Filthy. Oh, it needs count super bomb containers. Yet another function that needs to be recompiled. Damn it. Gear component. What's up, Scissor? Oh yeah. Oh, Kavarni. Um, Vlad is uh is Israeli. His his name's Russian, but he's Israeli. So you always had the post, man. Keeping the post for the Russians. Thank you. Holding the fort. That's right. Count super bomb containers. Count bomb containers. Oh yeah, second name, right? Oh yeah, his last name, yeah. Yep, his I think his family's Russian. Count bomb containers. We count super bomb containers. Yep, yeah, yeah. Count super num super bomb containers. I'm gonna type super bomb container one. Okay, world num super bomb containers. Yeah, super bomb container one. Okay, good. That looks like it's gonna count them correctly. Is super bomb container count super bomb containers? Cool. We got these all. You've been to Russia for two weeks? Cool. What's up, Arcane? Oh, there's another one here. Super bomb. Sweet, we got three quantity there, and three quantity here, energy bomb container. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, next I need the artwork for it. But first I think I'm going to check this in so far. This is a really good foundation for today's work. We got the energy bomb container. Energy bomb. Super bombs per container. Super bomb container. Super bomb container. It's always good to go double check all of these things because you can, if even a single, you know, a single digit is off or whatever, you can run into bugs later and be like, oh my god, why is that wrong? And you finally realize, oh, it's the worst kind of programming mistake of all. Misspelling. Super bomb container, super bomb container. Is super bomb, super bomb. Num super bombs, super bombs for container. Super bomb, container one, two, three. Is super bomb, count super bomb containers. Super bomb count 
bomb, soup bomb. The last thing I should check is looking for all the current instances of um, is bomb container. Like this one, if you were ever to purchase a bomb container, you would want to show the super bomb. Okay, head pillar item is bomb container. So now we need a very small percentage chance that you can earn <laughs> you can earn yourself a super bomb. Like, this is like 2% chance. Oh, the guys from Vice? Swampy. <laughs> You're vegetarian? Mm, this is where it hides an item in a chest. Yeah, I guess if we do have a super bomb container. It could be at wherever. For 15 years? Cool. And how how do you how's it affected you as your body? How do you feel? I'm a, I've always been a meat eater, but like lately, the last few years, I've had some like bone issues and stuff. And so I started eating less meat and it's really helped me. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm on the fence right here. I'm kind of like, I'm kind of, I might need to actually start being completely vegetarian. Heal my bones. Here's the, the video from Vice. It's 
showing me a beer commercial first. It's like, yeah, I, I think you're more interested in beer. Increment. If item is bomb, set bombs. Okay, we don't have that for the super bombs. Filter item type. This is one we should filter to. This super bomb container. Whoa. Dang. Yeah, I saw there's a documentary about this. Get equip item. Oh, this is where you're picking up a bomb container. Is it? Wait. Yeah, it is. Okay, so it's picking up a super bomb container might need to be a little different than anything else. Man, there's a lot of little data. Lots of data to, to hook up for an item that can be stocked. I could not digest the meat anymore since the bowel changes. Oh. But only like once a week, yeah. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay, well maybe I'm maybe I'm on the right track then by eating less meat right now. I eat a lot more beans, that's for sure. I cook, I cook and eat my own beans and that's it's actually been pretty good. I found that cooking your own beans, you don't have to fart as much. Yeah, to live healthy that is. I like farting, but like I can't make any noise farting all the time. I'm one of those guys, like maybe my asshole is not just shaped right. Or something like that. So I can't, I can't make noise consistently. Farting, this is kind of embarrassing for me. I'm like, man, I don't feel like a real man. Uh, live, yeah, live with the V. Yeah, you had it right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, auto equip item. That one's right. All right. Okay, we'll have to make us a, a separate one for a super bomb container here. Super bomb container. Set item. Filter item type. Set that. And but also replenish the super bombs. Oh, uh, which means get max. You need to multiply it by the number of super bombs. So if you get if I equals item super bomb count times equals your number of super bomb containers. Yeah, it is English. We've uh, I think English borrows a lot from a lot of different languages. That's why it's so confusing. So we replenish the super bomb and the super bomb container. We auto equip 
the super bomb, delete the entity, no set bombs, we do set item, image, It only has three that do puzzle games? Oh man, oh. Well, what else? It's not, your game's not just a puzzle game though, right? That's is bomb. How about count bomb? Also a bit of adventure thing. There is, there's one more. Swarmonian Explorer. Hell yeah, I remember Scum VM and all the Sierra Adventures. Especially Space Quest. Reward item, yeah. Okay, so if you're if you're a reward, if you have a reward item thing, there's a chance you can get a super bomb container or a super bomb. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. Quest for glory. Which one's quest for glory? Totally, Kovarni. I agree. I agree. All you need is another twist. There are some. There are some recent, really successful adventure games. Like, um, if you haven't seen, um, what's it called? <laughs> no, I can't remember. I can't remember the name. Uh, this. The Silent Age. The Silent Age is a really awesome adventure game, and it's um, it's pretty great. If you haven't seen the Silent Age, that's great. I think they're doing quite well with it. Look how many look how many platforms they got it on. Are they they got it on Steam now? Too bad I bought the the iPhone version. This game's great. Silent Age, highly recommend it. It's a total just adventure point and click. Um, Quest for Glory? Oh, this one? Life is Strange? Ah, oh, this one! I never played this one. But I saw people playing it. Look at that. Hell yeah! Whoa, this one's all 3D. Like a Stephen King novel. 
novel. It makes me think of Stranger Things. Which also could be a sweet game. Stranger Things game. Alright, what's this one? Add jostle item. Okay, yeah, if you wanna if you wanna jostle a tree and your random probability is Point three three. Let's go point three six. And you have super bomb containers, and you can get a super bomb. It's really good, yeah, but it's not classic. Personally, I really like um, adventure games. I know they came, they did really come out of, go out of like uh, style in the 2000s, but maybe now, I don't know, in the 2010s, I'd, I'd like to see some research on that. Like what's, how popular are adventure games these days? As bombs. Oh yeah, it's gonna have to be here in the tallying of all the score. At the very end of the game, you gotta make sure you're, if you have super bombs, that counts as a weapon. This is going to have to be is not has super bombs. Well, I'm doing a really thorough job of adding this new weapon <laughs> and adding it to literally everything. Lots of programming before I actually do the testing. I think this is a much more comprehensive look at all the code that would need to change to add in super bombs. Get spawn item. Oh, yeah, you can't spawn a super bomb if you don't have super bomb containers. What else? Health system. Oh, bosses. Yeah, bosses can give off super bombs. Let's program that in. Super boss count or super bomb count. Count super bombs. All right, how many bombs? Oops. So, anywhere from one, one to two. Swarm out and explore. I like the swarm part. Mm, 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 mm. OK, 
Okay, else if super bomb count minus one is greater than or equal to zero. Item equals super bomb bomb. Oh, super bomb count minus equals one. Okay, once again, this is even more of a thorough look. I'm not even sure if I want to do this anymore. Doing this super thorough thoroughness. I want to get to drawing the, the art part. But I did that. I did this. I did that. Oh, there's here's one. I found one. All right, cool. So if this is super, super, oh no, that doesn't work. There's not enough Z's for that. Okay, that's this is that's not meant to be there. Purposely not doing super bomb container because there are not enough of them for each Z. Siberia, huh? Cool, I like the style. Good story, yeah. Hmm, what is this one? Story system parse has. Ah uh, yeah, this needs to be here. Found another one. Else if word equals super bomb container. Any super bomb container. World num super bomb containers. Push either has, hasn't, has or negate. Okay, item super bomb container one plus i. I'm thinking this might actually be a gate item. Ice glove cactus, like cactus container three could be moved elsewhere. Blink three is pretty important though. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this as super bomb container right now. So I'll take cactus container three and put it somewhere else. Probably a secret item for now. And then Super Bomb Container 1 will be the gate item for Dungeon 8.
Oh, and then we also have the other two super bomb containers for now will just be temporary secret items. What's this? Get is secret pattern. Oh, right. If it's. Yeah, these are the secret item patterns. The third pie of Siberia. Right on. They get, so they're coming out with a third, a third game in the series? Create AI? What is this one? Oh, this is the item that the enemy contains. Oh, right. This needs to have some super bombs as well. All right, so num super bombs. And then they're always rare. So we're talking like a 4% chance. This is, yeah, 4% chance. So we'll be going 9 0. That's 0 0.04. If Mac, if Super Bombs, Max Super Bombs greater than zero. Ooh, it's a new story too, huh? I wonder what it I hope it's I hope it's good. Alright, found one, found another area that needed some little attention. Num bombs, max bombs, num super bombs, max super bombs. I already did the reward item. Did this. Did that one. Yeah, it is, right? It did look really good. And that, that first game was 2002. It's pretty great. Good graphics for 2002. So we want to restore super bombs if you die and continue. Those are crafted bombs. Oh, this is if you're buying super bombs. So yeah, if you buy If 
you're buying a super bombs, it should refill three. And then if you find a super bomb, I think it should just refill one for now. But I'm gonna keep this this two lines of code in here just to just differentiate it between this and this, which is the default, and this is sort of like I might want to customize later. Perhaps setting this to two. So you pick up a super bomb and you get two of them. Pick up item. Item that type item super bomb. I think that needs to be false. Oh, use super bombs. That's gonna be the next thing. All right, no more, no more. I can't take any more. All this little detailedness is tough. It's tough for a creative person to be so detailed. Energy bomb, energy bomb. Super bomb, blah, 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 blah. Hope I didn't make any mistakes here, but I've checked this over like a, a lot. This is my last double check, I promise. Promising myself. Congrats, free parking. Free parking.
I think I think this is all this code is looking good. I haven't seen any mistakes so far. All right, good. Whew. All right, let's draw these things. I think I did some custom graphics for... Foes? Like, foes have like this special bomb. Bomb foe, there it is. I might do that, I'm not sure. Start with drawing the, the initial shape. Should they be circular? Should they be like a cylinder shape? Maybe a triangle, a pyramid? A triangle would be kind of cool, actually. Let's do a triangle bomb.
What? All right, so if that doesn't crash, we can see what it looks like and then see if it's even right. That triangle shape might be just totally wrong. Let's see what it looks like. Oh no, actually the triangle shape is good. The highlights look weird. Definitely should be a little bigger. So that size right there is pretty good. Can't use it just yet. But yeah, okay, I like the shape. I don't like the jaggediness though. I don't know, that might be too wide. How do you draw two pixels above the point? Oh no, it's not. It's not doing that. It's um it's a it's a problem with my get my streaming software. Um, this streaming software doesn't quite show the correct um, mouse position, at least when there's a custom cursor. So when I'm in Photoshop right here, I've got these custom cursors. Like when I go to switch to the um, to this, you're actually seeing my cursor a little bit above, right? Yeah, it's not. Yeah. So I'm actually drawing at the at the right point, but you guys are seeing it. Um, a little bit below, which is really weird for you guys, I'm sure. <clears throat> nice. Whoops, I just drew that in the wrong place.
So this one might be a two. Oh, this one might be too uh, triangle shaped, actually. Too wide. Or maybe not. Oh yeah, that's fine. Oops. Oh, I just ran two of them. Yeah, it's not quite the I, the look I'm I want to go for, but the shape's right. I think I'm just gonna keep on working on the actual mechanics of it now. So next thing I'm gonna do is make it so you can drop one of these super bombs on the ground and launch a super explosion which will unlock Vel out of her cryo sleep. I think I've got this already started. We're gonna unlock her with the regular bomb for now. So yeah, all right, let's get this rest of this going where we can drop the actual super bomb instead of the regular bomb. I think I'm gonna have to create, call create bomb. Create super bomb. So now we're going to have a use super bomb function. What's up, Pug Champ? I will in a sec here. Uh, count super bomb. Less than zero, we can't do it. Otherwise, we schedule creating the super bomb. We tick away a super bomb. 
we no need to set this. Oh yeah, we probably do. And then the last thing is to hook up the use super bomb function. Damn, there's a lot of these functions. Here we go. All right, so use bomb. Now we've got use super bomb. All right, let's see what happens. Wait, wait, wait. One last thing. The super bomb needs at least a different. Category bomb. Oh, we need categories now. Category super bomb. Damn. So this is item super bomb. All right, all right, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Okay, so we're trying to blow her out of her jail of cryo sleep and using the super bomb. So I can place super bomb on the ground. worked wow it kind of did some weirdness there because it did the lightning and all that you're not she's not supposed to have the, to have the lightning there but it worked at least there's that so the next thing we need to do is make it different like it needs to have a bigger area of effect right now if I show the debug it's gonna do a small area it's supposed to be an area covering like the whole screen and doing a lot of damage. So that's next. Okay, so I guess that's um Where? Where are you saying the lighting's weird? Um, the size of this explosion. Oh, on the mines? Yeah, the mine, it was like, it was weird, yeah. It definitely was. I'll take a look at that. Yeah, yeah, I'm the triangle one. Yep. I um, I'm gonna get to that later. I'm, I that's that's this right here. Like the the way the bloom works on the lighting is that if it takes a bright pixel, it makes it kind of glow a little bit. So I need to touch that up, so it probably does not need these like brighter um, pixels right here, and that will help it glow less. But I want to focus on this other stuff first. So we create a super bomb, and that does a bomb explosion. Shoot, that means every single entity in the whole game needs a new filter type. So constants.h. Oh, we need we got filter bomb. We're also gonna now have filter 
Super bomb. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Okay. Oh, and K filter default. Or wait, default mask. It's gonna have filter bomb as well as super bomb. And now we need to hook up that up. Look for every instance of it. And also change all the data. What's up, Loki? Everywhere there's bomb. All this has to change. Acid boss, blob boss. Luckily, most of these are comma bomb. What is this one? Wow, it really is masked by the bomb. Bomb, ba bomb, bomb, bomb. There's a lot of instances of this. Zero entities. Oh, here's one that's bomb, comma. Bomb, 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 bomb. The only one that's died I don't want to change is story. Oh, not bomb foe, neither. This is bomb, comma, super bomb, comma. Zerb, Shivek, Verloc, Spides, Snakespear, Sax, Ray Meeks, Rossi Pine, Pulverizer, even, Midge, Cars, Droll Eats, Droid Bats. Droid Bat? Oh, no, wait, no, there are Droid Bats. I thought there was an old item, old enemy. Cratchu, Sears, Blobs, Biags, Growback. Oh, the Growback. That's an important one. Roz, all the bosses. Let's do this. Replace all these selected. Ahoy, what's up, Salad Dongs? Yo. Okay. Wait, wait. What's this? Create stairs tile. Oh, that's where. It's where you can bomb. Oh, yeah. So this is cool. You can use super bombs to. to open up secrets 
That'll be sweet. All right, that's a that's a lot of code changes there and lots of data, but it's gonna be cool to have the super bombs. I think there's it's uh, there's this function called explosive damage, and that's where it sets up how big the area. No, it's, it does it somewhere else. Explosive damage. Here it is. It's in a. AI system. This is where it, um, where the bomb explodes. It's got a size. Here's the size. Okay, here's where we want to say if it's a super bomb, make it a really big. And the super bomb has a collision category of super bomb. So your original category can't have foe, shot foe, or super bomb. That's... Oh, wait, wait. Let's do this a little bit differently. We do want to set... Um, if the entity has K filter super bomb, we're going to do a special story element. We'll have a story element called super bomb exploding. So that way we can use super bomb exploding to do story elements. Like if a super bomb explodes, you know, has an element, a certain element. So this is going to be the size. And normally the size is. Oh, this is not the right way to write that. Super bomb, let's do this the size bit here, all in its own. All right, and the super bomb has the size of the entire area. which I think is 3D. Got to make sure that's three dimensional. I'll set a breakpoint there. Let's make sure that it gets to the Z. There, okay, so now we've got a super bomb that it can explode, use its own um, story element even. So this way we can change Vel's thing. So she has, she can only be woken up if a super bomb explodes. And the super bomb should be giant. Okay, so first thing I'm going to try a regular bomb. Cool, doesn't do anything. Let's see that one more time. Yeah, same size, cool. So now we're going to do a super bomb. See how big this is, and also it should trigger Vel. All right, let's see what size. Get size. Come on out.
good. Yeah, that's 3D. 420, 240. No, wait, no, this is only 10. This is not very big at all. Okay, this needs to be size.z is like at least 240. Yeah, they hit the whole screen. Right on. Let's make it do like so much more damage now too, like twice the damage at least. Where is it set the damage? Damage. Where is it? Damage. Here it is. Constants. HP. So that does three hearts of damage, the regular bomb. Super bomb, let's do like eight. So it like obliterates stuff. For example, a really good one to try. Let's go to Zero, zero, uh, 100, that's going to be the gate item, first gate item. We'll have lots of pillars in this room so we can see if it blows up all the pillars. And it shouldn't blow up these other bombable pillars. <laughs> yeah, look at that, whoa! It crashed the game! Story system cannot find entity named Vel. Oh, that's because this story element. Needs to check if this area has a bell. Yeah, look at that. Fun if it actually blew up these bombable pillars too. So the super bomb can do that. Oh, we have to have activate bomb and super bomb. That's pretty satisfying. The reason there's so many regular bombs on the ground here is this area is custom made this way because this is where you're supposed to get the original bomb okay let's go to the place where you get you actually get the super bomb let's make sure that works that should be area 170 I think 
And I'll make it so I don't have any super bombs or any super bomb containers. Yeah, okay, here I am. This is level eight. yet. And it's actually, it worked pretty well because the existing uh, bomb pillars triggered the puzzle there. So that's great. All right, so yeah, that's gonna be it for today's stream. I gotta take a break. But this is a great start. The super bombs are like all hooked up, all the, all the, it, there's so much code that had to be changed to make these, cause it's a new weapon. And that changes everything, tallying the end game score. Uh, going to your menu and showing quantities and like everything had to be changed to make sh to make it so these super bombs are working and stuff but now that all that code's done I can focus on the next thing which will be I'm gonna set off a super bomb and do like a really custom effect it's gonna go across the whole screen and just be a way better looking um, visual effect so that'll be my next step and so yeah you get these super bombs way late in the game they're really powerful and they they allow you to wake up Vel. yeah they're very yeah they're very rare you only get one and maybe two or three more so and then yeah and then you also have to refill them and they're really rare to refill so yeah all right so um everybody have a good night thanks thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time Cheers.